Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to extend the HCP Packer workflow using the new webhooks feature. Starting out here, I'm on my HashiCorp Cloud Platform dashboard, and under the project settings, we have our new webhooks configuration screen. You can see I have a few webhooks already set up, and here we get an overview of their status, the last result received from the handler, and the last time a message was delivered. And if we click into the details of one of our webhooks, we can see which events this webhook is subscribed to, and the most recent deliveries, where we can examine the payload that was sent, which can be really helpful when we're customizing the webhook handler. Let's create a new webhook to send some Slack messages. We just need to give it a name, add a description, enter the URL of the webhook receiver. This is what's going to handle the webhook and take whatever actions you want. Optionally, we can add an HMAC token if it's needed by our webhook receiver. And then we simply select the events this webhook will respond to. For this one, I'll select scheduled and canceled revocations. With our webhook created, you can see we have a successful response from the test message that was automatically sent by the platform to verify the receiver. Now let's trigger an event. I'm now here in my HCP Packer registry. I'll go into my Ubuntu base image here and schedule a revocation. You can see right away we got our Slack notification of that new HCP Packer event that we have scheduled that revocation. I customized my webhook processor to pull information like the user who initiated the action, the bucket name, the image version that was affected, the scheduled revocation time, the message that was entered, and whether we selected the option to revoke descendants. So that's just one quick example of what we can do with these webhooks to customize the HCP Packer image lifecycle. To learn more about HCP Packer, check out the documentation and tutorials at developer.hashicorp.com and head on over to hashicorp.com slash cloud to get started. Thanks for watching.